Welcome back to the 700 Club. Got a question for you. Does veggie juice and bland pasta sound good to you? Yeah, yeah, me neither. And it didn't sound good to Dave Lieberman either. Well, for him, good food always trumped over healthy food until he met his college roommate. College roommates, one, a health writer for the New York Times who loved raw veggies and whole grains. The other, a chef who loved butter, bacon, and red meat. And they were rivals in the kitchen. So 10 years ago, Dave Lieberman and Anahat O'Connor started looking for a happy medium between health and good taste. They found 10 things you need to eat, superfoods that are easy to find, loaded with nutrients and delicious. So please welcome to the 700 Club, the co-author of 10 Things You Need to Eat, Dave Lieberman. Thank you so much Thanks for being here, thank man. You for, thank you very much. This Thanks is going to be kind of cool. Now, you start cooking, or playing around with cooking, right? When you were, yeah. what, four years old? Yeah, as a little kid, my father was the cook in the house. Mm -hmm. So I kind of just started cooking naturally with him and then started to work in restaurants around town. I grew up in downtown Philadelphia and always kept cooking and wound up being able to do it as a career, but uh, like you said, I always put, you know, just flavor and sort of fatty foods at the top of my list, and uh, when I got together with Anahad to write this book, and actually, you know, being roommates and all, I really started to change my diet, and this is sort of the, the combination of our two sides of the food story. Well, let's talk about that a little bit. You went to Yale University, and yeah. Anahad was your roommate. My freshman roommate. Your yeah. freshman roommate. Yeah. And he was like this health guru type of guy, right? Yes. He grew up as a vegan, and, and now he's a health writer for the New York Times. Okay. And so we've just always kind of come, come at it from two different angles, but then, you know, staying friends and being roommates, yeah. we kind of merged our two, our two sides. And now we have this, this product because we, we saw a lot of sort of varying information out there about mm -hmm. what is healthy, what is good, and, and we decided to write this sort of definitive <laughs> you know, list about what not only what is incredibly good for you, but yeah. also can be delicious. Well, let's talk about that definitive list. Okay. You have some 10, what are they, superfood, yeah. power well, foods? We like to just call them the 10 things you need to eat because superfoods okay. has a lot of you know, associations with them yeah. that we don't like to uh, like really you know, get into. We just say <laughs> these things, you need to be eating them because okay. they are undoubtedly incredibly Incredibly good for your health. They make you live longer, smarter, healthier, and they can make delicious food. I'm all about that. All right, so let's okay. rock it. What are the so, ten? Quinoa. Quinoa right. is something that a lot of people overlook, but it's in every supermarket. It's an ancient seed. It's, it's, it's actually a seed, but it acts like a grain. Okay. You cook it a lot like rice, and it's a complete protein, so you can substitute it for meat in your diet. And I'll show you in a little bit really? how you can incorporate it, taking out a little bit of red meat in your diet, still having all that protein, but without the saturated fat. And without having the carbs that like something like rice yeah. or couscous or something like that might, might introduce into your diet. Interesting. We were talking earlier, and in my brain I was thinking that the ultimate food is either the bean or the banana because <laughs> they have such, like bananas have great uh, potassium, and bean I think is your superfood because you've got the fiber and everything yeah. else. But you were actually saying that well, that beans quinoa... Are, beans are great. Bananas are very tasty, but we we said that um, we looked at the research and, and quinoa. They they did a study. NASA did a study yeah. about what would what is like if there's one food that's the perfect food on Earth that they would send up in their spacecraft with astronauts. Quinoa turned out to be it. Good to know. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so tomatoes. Um, tomatoes are extremely high in antioxidants, mm -hmm. lycopene. Um, Lentils. Yeah. Hi, you were talking about fiber. Everyone yeah. can use a little more fiber in Come your on, diet. Brother. Come on. <laughs> Make sure you're happy when you have that's it. That's right. <laughs> and lentils are one of the highest um, fiber foods gotcha. out there, and they're extremely versatile. I'll show Good. you how to do something with, with lentils okay. in a second. Beets, we call these in the book nature's multivitamin. I never they eat can, beets. Yeah, beets are incredible because they can heal everything from the common cold to heart disease. Really? Yep, they can lower your blood pressure. And actually, a study found that drinking beet juice, which is not something that you necessarily want to do, but that just shows you, they, they actually uh, saw that drinking beet juice can lower your blood pressure in a matter of minutes. No way. Yeah, so it's really something important hmm. to now, spinach, okay. uh, avocado, all kinds of berries, yeah. nuts are actually have been shown to really help in weight loss. All okay. kinds of nuts. If you eat a handful of nuts, you, you actually have a better chance of losing weight. A lot of people think that they're fatty and bad. Yeah. They're actually great for you, and they can help you lose weight. But is it all nuts or just like almonds? All kinds of nuts. Really? Yes. yes. Okay. Um, and they also have that kind of un, that monounsaturated fat, which is really good for you. Gotcha. So certain kinds of fish, mm -hmm. salmon, sardines, anchovies, we call these super fish. Yeah. They're high in omega-3 fatty acids, which are like great brain food 
fat, yeah. actually, and they are low in mercury, which is something that particularly pregnant women are very, are very um, interested. And cabbage, yeah. finally, actually can help reduce the risk of breast cancer. So another great one for women out there. Really? Yes. Great to know. Well, yeah. you've taken many of these superfoods yep. and placed them into food yep. food. In the book, we talk about the science, but we also give lots and lots of delicious recipes yeah. for the foods. So okay. um, I've made something, an appetizer, a main course, and dessert for you today, Christy. I talked about the lentils. Well, this is a lentil hummus. Oh, I have to eat this yeah, because so, I love to eat And we put some, some whole wheat pea out there. And okay. uh, hummus is traditionally ma uh, made with chickpeas and tahini. But here oh, I've, added, I've added lentils. Mm -hmm. You've got a lot more fiber in there. You get your, your one of the ten things you need to eat. And it's mm. a great thing to just put out there at a party, for example. And people will never know. In lentils, you can say, hey, yeah. it's lentils. And they'll be like, whoa, it's good. And you actually introduce your friends to something that they need to be eating. Brother, that is the bomb. And I'm so I'll tempted you, to double I'll dip. But I don't want to double no, dip. No, you're all right. It's just us. It's just here we're friends. Would it be tacky? You know, you do One it. more time. You do it. All right, here we go. Um, so as I double dip, okay, let's talk so about this, this. So this is um, spaghetti and meatballs. Mm -hmm. It's you know classic. Everyone loves it, mm -hmm. but it's actually made with quinoa and red meat. So taking out some really? of the red meat. Yeah, so so the, the quinoa, that yeah, grain you, over there. You cook it like rice, mm -hmm. and then you use the quinoa in the place of breadcrumbs. So you, okay. you without those uh, uh, those. Uh, sort of carbs, yeah. that you, you add the quinoa, you get the complete protein that it offers, and you take some of the red meat out of your diet, which can uh, which can lead to heart disease and and uh, certain kinds of cancer. So you so can you do like turkey burger or something also, like yeah, that? You can also, yeah, if you don't want to use yeah. red meat, make it even, even healthier by putting in turkey. But uh, really it's got Parmesan too. cheese and parsley and garlic, so it's a traditional meatball, Ooh. but it's just a little bit healthier, and it's great for the family, and it's actually very inexpensive. And here. it's really delicious, too, and of course, really quick, yep. the brownies. The brownies, yep. So the brownies, avocado, mm -hmm. almond brownies. Avocados are one of the like most versatile of these foods. You can really? use them everything from soups to salads to desserts to main courses, and I actually have another thing I wanted to show you with yeah. the avocado, just to show you how versatile it really is. Well, let's talk about that as okay. we make the shake. Okay. Now, avocado, is it because it's got the fat? But yeah, the, so avocados are, are high in fat, but it's the good kind of fats, the okay. fats that you want, these monounsaturated fats, which are heart-healthy fats, which you actually want to eat as much as you can, as long as you're keeping within your calorie restrictions for a day, whatever that might be. I just want you to know, Dave, that I eat avocado every single day. Then you are going to live forever. I know! <laughs> I know. And, and that's why your skin looks so good, well, actually. Well, thank you, <laughs> So dump a half avocado Okay, in there. here we go. Sorry. Now, frozen, frozen blueberries. All right. We've got about a cup of frozen blueberries okay. there. And that's, so you don't have to add ice because it's going to be really nice and cold and refreshing. Whoop. Got a flying banana there. We'll put banana. some more in. There Now, you go. I know that you like rice milk, so you add a little bit of I rice do. milk in here. And that's going to help to make it that smoothie consistency. Yeah. And a little touch of honey to um, to sweeten it up, and then you just blend it up, and you're going to see that that avocado gives it like this almost custard-like consistency. Yeah, you can move it around. I have one of these at home. They're great. Oh, good. Yeah, and you just kind of mix it up here, and it almost makes it like this this incredible custard. Yeah. Um, and so it's a much it, here the, you pour. It's much better than a lot of other smoothies out there. And not only that, but it's really healthy for you because you have an avocado and you don't taste the avocado at all. So go ahead and um, you can okay. use a straw or a spoon. Mm. Brother, that is really, really good. And you know what? I know yeah. it trips. I got to tell you this. It's delicious. I know it trips people out because you think that avocado mm -hmm. is going to be nasty. Mm -hmm. But avocado has such a creamy base to it. But yeah. it has a natural, what, the monounsaturated fat as well, which yep. is really good that you need. Yep. And, and then just, you sweeten it up with some blueberries, which, yeah. are another, which are another one of the 10 things you need to eat. Yeah. A little bit of honey. And you can use soy milk, rice milk, uh, regular milk. And uh, and that's a great treat for kids, too. I am so digging that. In fact, <laughs> did you taste that? I'll take this yeah. for me, too. That, and that's a great lunch or yeah. mid, mid, midday break. That was mine. You notice how I took yours? That's all right. <laughs> I, got, I got to go back to New York anyway, so that's all right. <laughs> Dave's book is called The 10 Things That You Need to Eat, and it's available nationwide. Listen, as I swallow part of that shake, we also have our free fact sheet for you, and it's called Easy and Delicious Superfood Recipes, and that's also available online. Trust me, i got to tell you, the avocado thing is it's kicking good, butter. Right? It's really, really good. Yeah. And listen, all you have to do is just log on to CBN.com for your free fact sheet, and this book is available wherever books are sold. So thank you so much again, Thanks, Dave. Christy. You rock, man. Yeah. Thank you, Pat. Pat, or not thank you, over to you. <laughs> <laughs> Christy, you eat avocados every day. Are you telling the truth? As God is my witness, I eat it every day because that's the fat. I use a carb, a protein, and a fat, and I use avocado every day. So I love the fact that I can do something different with my avocado. We got to get, get some smoothie over to Pat there. Absolutely. Do I have well, to you, give it to him? <laughs> you eat a lot of guacamole then. That's avocado, isn't it? Yes. Yeah, yeah. it is, but I don't eat guacamole. You I just kind of chop it up.
There's a great recipe for guacamole, though, in the book. It's good yeah. to know. <laughs> I, I just threw that to you just to get that. Yeah, out just there. one last <laughs> plug for the book, Pat. Thanks. Anything I can do to help. <laughs>